What what is your message to partners who are watching this, husbands or wives, whatever? I think the key is is to accept the uh, uh, the experience as a part of life. To resist the temptation to think, well, this is a terrible thing. It's a hiatus from my life. It's a chunk out of my life, and when it's over, I'll go back to being, uh, you know, alive and and participatory. I think that's a mistake because. And in my case, I had a chance to think a lot about it. Uh, during the critical parts of my illness, um, uh, before I knew that it would be so protracted, I expected to get well and go back to work, yeah. get my voice back and do everything that I needed to do to refit myself for, for, for singing again. And I think it was um, because it was so protracted that I got a chance to think about this uh, quite a lot. And uh, over a decade, it certainly did become the life that I was living. So we lived it together. We made an adventure of the, any trip to the doctor, whether it was for CT scans or whether it was for surgery. We, you know, we 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 stopped at our favorite places on the way, and we would watch. We watch hospital TV in the wee hours. She would fetch me ice chips. The, we, we, it became an all-embracing relationship uh, that nobody ever asked us about. Nobody ever asked us about it. I mean, we, 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 we thought we were hiding out pretty well. I, you know, we thought we <laughs> had a pretty successful um, method for hiding her under the sheets Nobody ever was fooled, but nobody nobody ever cared. I think it was apparent to everyone uh, um, how that buoyed my spirits and, and aided or assisted in in the treatment. Mm -hmm. 